the nerves are always going to be heightened around free agency. Just, you never know. You just have to drop your life and start a new one somewhere else. But I think as a family, we're at a point where we can adapt well wherever we uh, end up at. But yeah, try to stay positive. I think that's the best you can do. What's like been your favorite part of like the off season? Though? Oh, my favorite part of the off season is having him home. It's been so fun having him here. He's such a good dad. I love seeing him be a dad. It makes me love him even more, <laughs> if that's possible. I'm not good at games. I don't know, I would probably say the people we done met, I met some great people. Also still exploring Vegas, it's like, it's like never ending. You know, it's just so much to learn here and see out here. More to it just than rocks. <laughs> Everybody's signing contracts. Everybody's, you know, getting deals and I'm here still waiting. So, um, still got my head up. Really just getting my mind off of things, going on for walks, kicking with my daughter. I'm a big homebody type person, so I don't really go nowhere unless it's going from zero to 100. Which ain't very often, but I do enjoy myself. Other than that, I'm just chilling. Thinking about life after football, what to do after football. I'm always thinking of that, but times like this just makes it, you know, I guess it's always good to have that in the back of your head. Always a plan for what's next. This being my 10th, or going on my 10th season, I want to say I'm pretty much used to it. Not like a lot of people that's been on this journey, like my family, don't necessarily understand why it's like that. But it's the NFL; it's the way they do business sometimes. But you just gotta continue to grind, put your head down, and do what you gotta do. Don't complain about it, moan about it. Put the work on, you know, on the field and grind in the gym. What's up, y'all? We back. What is the fourth day free agency? Out here about to do some field work. With my boy Sean, my boy Vic, and my boy Javen. About to get some work in, get the feet moving. First time being back on the field since the season, so we knocked some of this rust off. Then hey, when you elevate, the second of losses, I'm handing them out, yeah, I had to go delegate. It feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment, I swear I could levitate. They never believed that I would really fly. I had to go demonstrate. I had to set them straight. They hate when you elevate. Elevate, elevate. They hate when you elevate. Elevate, elevate. Yeah. They hate when you elevate. Elevate, elevate. They hate when you elevate. Yeah. I had to elevate. I'm way, yo, way too fly. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling myself. Ain't no chance I'm coming down, no. Got a soul view to myself. Yeah. Why would I give it up? Why do they want to come take my place? I work too hard. For it, don't need a replacement. This my vocation. Now I got rollies, all in rotation. Definitely rusty. Definitely got a lot to go. A lot of work to put in. And we uh we just working day to day. I'm getting BTA stop. When you were growing up, did you always want to be a football player? Oh uh, yeah. I knew when I was six years old I was gonna be a football player. I didn't actually think I was gonna actually make it, mm -hmm. but along the way, um uh, I have faith that I had a chance. Everybody want to be a D boy. Boy, what is that? Yeah. You don't know what D boy is? No. Come oh, on, Timmy. Big meat, like a drug dealer. A drug dealer? Yeah. Yeah, my dad would whoop my ass. But um, <laughs> you know, growing up, you know, in the hood, 
you know, just, that's what you see the majority of the time. But thanks to my pops and my moms, they kept me on a straight, narrow path. You know, high school is over. I'm getting ready to go to college, go to Ohio State. And before we, like, I think two days before we put pads on, I'm like, all right, a lot of these dudes are in shape and, like, jacked. Like, they look way better than me. So I'm like, oh, this might be rough. This is, it could be a challenge, but um, I called my dad. I said, man, I don't know if I can do this. These guys are a lot bigger, stronger, faster than me. He's like, John John, I'm gonna slap you. I'm like, what you talking about? He said, man, you didn't make, work this hard. You didn't got to Ohio State. And he was like, now you wanna like question yourself? He basically told me, just do what I've been doing. I don't nothing change just because somebody like 6'8", you know, rocked up all in shape don't mean they're better than you. So I just went out there and did what I did. I seen dudes in there just getting just mauled, ran over, just killed. <laughs> when I went out there, I actually held my own. I wasn't in the best of shape, but for those two or three three plays, people was like, "Damn, I didn't know he'd be doing a move and play like that." But, but from that point on, I was like, "Yeah, oh yeah, I'm, that's where I'm supposed to be. Just need to get a little bit of shape." So it ended up working out from there on. Man, it was crazy. My first year, I remember we was ranked number one on how playing West Constant and JJ Watt was on the other side. And I'm watching Cam Hayward. So you know obviously going into my second year I was able to get myself together, get in good shape, end up starting playing the end. So you know my dad always believed in me and my brothers always believed in me. I don't I don't ever doubt my ability. You know, I know once I'm on the field somebody get my ass well and that's just that. Would you say to people who you know don't see you as you know they only see you as like a two down guy like, I just tell them watch the tape. My last two years of me playing in the NFL, just watch the tape. You know what I mean? I might not be making like the big sacks or the splashy plays, but there's some plays in there and games that I, I didn't wreck. Oh, 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 oh. Man on a mission, I'ma get it. You know I be on the way. Never beat, I've been down and I reappear You got some money on the line, you better put it here Rolling in and doing that work I got my family in town, put my parents out and just to bring some family around as we wait for the, the call from any team and hopefully we'll hear some news soon but um, it's the weekend, it's Saturday, we're just chilling and um, that's it, just kicking it <laughs> waiting on the call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need How that. you feeling? I feel good. Just waiting on the call. Came down here to be with my son and Rasa and her parents and you know. Good weekend. Waiting on the Raiders. Is it stressful for you at all or? If it's stressful for him, it's stressful for me. We feel the same. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like him feeling like that, but that's why we down here. That comfort him, me and his mind. Mm. Yeah.